Hi guys, let's learn get and transform. Right, the first one is the new query. To use this, you need to click over here. So these are the sources you can uh, bring your file for the query. Right, these are the sources. If you have any file which is related to anything from here, you can bring that file and create a query. Before I start, just have a look over here. It says easily discover, connect and combine data from multiple source. Right? You can bring the data from multiple source through this to just have a query. Right? Let me show you an example. Take an example from file, from workbook. I wanted to extract the data for the query here. Right? For that I need to select the file. Let me have a look. Okay, this one. So it will take little time and it would be ready. Once it would be ready, the moment you click on, it would be showing the preview over here. Take an example. By click on edit also, you can edit the things you want. Take an example. See, all these are the columns you have extracted from another source. If you wanted to modify it or delete any column, you can delete it by right click and remove. See, one column has been removed. And it's in this way, you can configure whatever the query you want for this specific worksheet. Apart from this also, you can delete lot of columns or only keep the columns which is required for the query. Once it is done, you need to just close this and you can say keep the change. Okay, once you install this one, you are having the query sheet is ready, but originally it is not from this file, right? Okay. Let's understand more things from here. The moment you click on show query, see here it has been showing. The moment you click on over here, it would be hidden. The moment again you click on, it would be coming back. So the purpose of coming back is if you wanted to change any query, you just go and click over there and you can add or delete the, the columns from here so that it would be reflecting in your particular worksheets, right? For that, it would be there. Apart from this also, you can see the from table, from table means from the existing table. Also, it goes like that. Right here also, you can change, remove. It would be like that only where you extracted the query. Okay. The moment you click on res recent resource, just because this one from this file, you have used this data. From that, it shows recent resource. Okay. Okay. Let's close this. Uh, okay, let's understand connections. What is connections? Generally, these data has been extracted from another things. The moment you click on connection, you can get the file information that is query total from the book. It has been extracted, right? Just because you have uh, extracted the data from another workbook, right? You are getting the work workbook connections so that file has been connected with this okay once the file has been connected with this and you wanted to update the data by changing the data in the original file you need to click on refresh automatically whatever the changes you have done the file which is connected to, connected to this automatically updated over here by refreshing here right and this way it works then you can go to the properties where it says the query name and all this thing Okay, so connection is generally you can also if it is connected with the internet, you get, you'll have the connection properties over here or whatever the file which has been connected with this particular file to extract the data would be listed over here. Okay, thank you very much. See you in the next lecture.